So here we have the Mini Convertible on a 17 plate. Uh, going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car first of all. And then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside, you can see it's a two-door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Given the fact that it's a convertible, a decent amount of boot space, which you can increase by folding down either of these rear seats as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. Uh, now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the centre, and the fuel gauge on the right-hand side. Uh, in the centre of the speedometer, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 70,633. You can change the information that's displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator. Various bits of trip computer information, as you can see, but you can also have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have cruise control, speed limiter, stereo and phone controls. Then over in the center, the main stereo itself, which includes, as you can see, a reversing camera. We can get to the main menu. From here, you can access your radio, FM, AM and DAB. All of the movement I'm making on the screen, incidentally, is being done using this dial here. You can use the collection of buttons that surround it to go into certain menus, for example, telephone, your main menu, uh, and audio over here, or your media. Um, but as I say, from the main menu, you can do virtually everything with the dial actually. So if you want to listen to your own music, you go to multimedia, push the dial down. Uh, you've got then external devices you can plug in. So USB input, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input as well. Uh, so plenty of ways to listen to your music. We can come back out to the main menu. We've got a settings menu, vehicle information, mini connected and your contacts there as well. Working our way down from that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger driver temperature you can increase and decrease the fan speed you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in and when you're happy with those settings air conditioning is on at the minute so that's off back on again you can recirculate the air that's in the car there's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperatures you set here uh, and you can override that whenever you want by turning that off or you can just hit auto the car will now take full control of the fan speed which you can hear it doing and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Press also again and you go back to whatever setting you had that on previously. We've got traction control. That's the button you use to start and stop the engine. You can turn off the stop and start. This vehicle is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows at the end of that button. With a 12 volt charging socket, USB and auxiliary inputs, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. You can change the driving setup of the car so you can put it in sport. Whatever mode you put it in, it will show you on here, mid, and green mode as well. Last thing I want to show you is the roof working. Of course, there's a button just above the rear view mirror. Pull that button back. Once you do it, it will stop and give you a kind of a sunroof section just here. Go back to the button again and all four windows will go down and the roof, as you can see, will fold down as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.